So I'm doing this project here and I have some wood uh, in the garage that I'm cutting and I cut it one sixteenth too wide. Now you'll see this bottom part here. I can either cut it a little bit longer, measure that and cut a piece that long or I can just put wood filler in there. I think it's best to just cut a piece uh, a little bit longer, but it's so close and it fits. Like this piece is perfect for it in the sense that it sticks out just far enough to kind of line up with that when it's all in there. So when this is in there perfectly, it'll stick out and it should in theory be flush. But then I still gotta clean this up a little bit. I'll just force it in there with uh, this hammer. And I got some screws. I got all these tools and my beer that I need to make this happen. So back to the uh, drawing board. Ah, this is turning into a three beer project. So I cut the first one a little too short. So now I gotta get all my shit because I put it all away like a responsible adult. No, I need it again. All right, so we're gonna cut one new piece now that is one inch and one sixteenth wide and four inches and one sixteenth of an inch long. Yeah. Wasn't even recorded. And it's an inch. Fuck. Well, whatever. We'll try We'll see. We'll cut this one too. And we'll see. All right. an inch. Let's get one and one sixteenth down pat. Cause that's what we want. That's one and one sixteenth. No, move it over. There. And then we want the same length. Cause the length is fine. There. Okay. We'll keep this one just in case though. So we want the blade on this side, All right? Yeah, one and one sixteenths. Cool, that's great. Now, I wanna make sure this is four and a quarter, one sixteenth, which it is. Okay, cool. This is how I do it. This is probably not how you're supposed to do it, Four one sixteenths by one and one sixteenth. This is the same length, but by one. Four and one sixteenths by one. Okay, unplug it. Probably have to come out again. <laughs> Here's the bed that I or the box of the bed that I burned earlier. All right, so we're back at it. The first one that we have is four and one sixteenths long by one inch. We're gonna... What the? Now it's... Oh, okay. So I need to trim it up a little bit down there. And it looks like this would fit in there, kind of. So let's see about... This is the four and one sixteenths by one and one sixteenth. And I like the way that one fits better. Yeah, that one is, huh. Maybe I, maybe I got a little bit overzealous with this. I think I did trim it up just a little bit, I think. Does this fit in there good? Is this good? Yeah, that'll pound in, right? Let's check the other one real quick. I kind of like this one better. Yeah, we're gonna use, it's gonna be cut a little bit down. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll do, we'll do the inch one. That inch one fits in there pretty nice. So I got the piece in there, right? But they'll have a thing and it doesn't, doesn't really line up. So I'm not sure if I need to cut, maybe I need to cut more up. Yeah, maybe I probably need to cut, cause that's where the old one sat. 
Yeah, that's off a little bit. So I need to move it up a little bit more. I gotta figure that out. This is where it needs to be. This is where the, I don't know what it's called, but that latch part, the knob of the door goes. So I probably need to cut up a little bit more. Um, that's cool because this is in there now and I can screw into this because before, if you recall, there was, there was nothing. There was like pieces of plywood if that or whatever it's called that i couldn't get a screw in because it would go in between them so this is good i have another tiny piece that i'll use up here where i can cut another piece i'll measure it out and i will get this all done and looking nice i have wood filler and i'll sand this down and i'll put wood filler along here where i cut and where else i cut uh, especially if I, if I cut this out too, I can just pull this out and then cut pieces accordingly uh, to what I need. Yeah, cool. Uh, for now, we're just gonna crack our third beer and I'm gonna clean up my mess that I made. Yep. So I can, I can take this project and I, 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 I can learn from it. I didn't get it finished, but I look at it as a win because I gotta use my miter saw. I got to use my multi-tool. I grabbed my drill and I was able to fill the spot for the screws that I'll need to do. Now I'll probably need to cut it about another inch or so higher and take that piece out and put a new piece in there. And I'll do that on the weekend, probably this weekend, Saturday or Sunday. I'll get that going. But that's the thing, like I can, I can think of how to do something and I can be like, this is how I would do it. But I, I, putting it together takes longer than it would somebody who is more versed in putting things together. And I'm fine with, I'm fine that I had to use my miter saw three times. I'm fine with that this took a little bit longer than it should have. I'm fine with that I have to revisit this again because now I have a better attack plan than I initially had. And um, I'm gonna get it taken care of because then I can pop that piece out and I can clean it out and flush it up really nice. Because that piece that I put in there is good to be able to, an anchor for screws that I need to put in, both attaching it and the metal piece that the door, <laughs> You know what this is going to look like, right? But this is the door. Like, it goes in and it it stays closed. So it can't be pushed open. But you you know what this looks like, boy or girl or whatever you identify as. You know. <laughs>